the last, kapag nagkukwento tayo, yung kinukwento natin, mga nakaraan na. Kasi kaya mga nagkukwento kasi tapos na, di ba? So, paano ba sinasabi sa English kapag yung gusto mong ikwento ay nakaraang kalagayan na? Hello mga kanayon! My name is Nori. Welcome if you're new to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. So in this video, pag-uusapan natin paano gamitin ang verb to be na was, were, wasn't, and weren't. At saka, paano gumawa ng yes or no questions gamit sila? Ang was at were ay ginagamit natin kapag ang pinag-uusapan natin ay tapos na o nakaraang kalagayan na. Yung was, ginagamit siya kapag singular. Tsaka ito yung past tense ng am at saka ng is. Yung were naman, ginagamit siya kapag plural. At ito naman yung past tense ng are. Yung I am, kapag past tense na, nagiging I was. For example, I am late. Kapag past tense, nagiging I was late. So, kailan siya late? Pwede yung kanina, kahapon, last week, last month. Yung you are, nagiging you were kapag past tense na. For example, you are awake, nagiging you were awake. Tapos yung she is, nagiging she was. For example, uh, she is excited, nagiging she was excited. So, kailan siya excited? Pwede kanina, kahapon, last week, or last month. <laughs> diba? Yung he is, nagiging he was. For example, he is asleep, nagiging he was asleep kapag nakaraan na. Yung, uh, yung it is, nagiging it was. Halimbawa, it is fresh, nagiging it was fresh. So, kapag sinabing it was fresh, may possibility na ngayon ay hindi na siya fresh. Okay? Kasi nakaraan na nga. So, halimbawa naman, um, yung Nori is, nagiging Nori was. For example, Nori is anxious, nagiging Nori was anxious kapag nakaraan na. Halimbawa naman, the bird is, is small. Kapag past tense, nagiging the bird was small. So, pag gano'n na pagkasabi, may possibility na yung bird ay hindi na small ngayon. Baka malaki na, di ba? So, naman sa plural, ang ginagamit natin ng were. Halimbawa, yung we are, nagiging we were. For example, we are in the pool kung nasa pool ka ngayon. Kapag wala ka na sa pool, pwede mo sabihin we were in the pool. Di ba? Pag gano'n na pagkasabi, malamang wala na sila sa pool. Diba? Halimbawa naman, uh, they are, nagiging they were. Halimbawa, they are surprised, nagiging they were surprised. So, maaaring nasurpresa sila kanina, o kaya kahapon, or basta nakaraan na. Halimbawa naman, Nori and Mary are happy. Kapag past tense na, Nori and Mary were happy. Diba? O kaya naman, the birds are hungry. Kapag past tense na, nagiging the birds were hungry. So, kailan sila hungry? Basta hindi na ngayon. May possibility na hindi, hindi na sila hungry ngayon. So, uh, meron ako napansin dito sa mga English native speakers. Kapag ang tinutukoy nila, uh, yung tao na, yung mauna, o pumanaw na, ang ginagamit nila, was. For example, George was my grandpa. Kapag gano'n ang pagkasabi, parang ibig sabihin nun, yung lolo niya na si George, malamang himao na. Kasi was na yung ginamit. Pero syempre, ako naman, nagtataka ako, bakit, bakit was ang ginamit? Eh, di ba, eh, kahit naman pumanaw na yon yung lolo niyang si George, lolo mo pa rin yun. Di ba dapat, George is my grandpa? Actually, Maraming mga debate niyan uh, online eh. May mga binasa akong debate sa mga ano, sa mga forum ng tungkol sa grammar. Ino you know nga, uh, maraming nagsasabi, dapat George is my grandpa. Kasi nga, di ba, hindi naman, kahit naman yung mauna yung tao, hindi naman nagbabago yung fact na lalolo mo yun, di ba? Pero, yun nga, kadal kadalasan nga kasi sa kanila, yun ang ginagamit, kapa, was yung ginagamit kapag ito yung tuko yung mauna. Sinasabi ko naman sa inyo kasi para kapag narinig nyo yan sa iba, mga English native speakers, magigets nyo rin, ah, yung mauna yung tinutukoy niya. Pero so far, ang natutunan ko, 
na kapag daw ang tinutukoy mo ay yung physical body na inilibing, ang ginagamit doon ay uh, present tense. For example, uh, my grandpa is buried in Southwood Cemetery. Diba? Present tense yun, is buried in Southwood Cemetery. Kasi yung tinutukoy mo yung, yung physical na body na inilibing. Diba? At, I mean, totoo pa rin yun ngayon. Doon pa rin siyang kalibing. Pero kapag ang tinutukoy mo, ay yung uh, hindi physical na katangian. For example, my grandpa was kind. Diba? Hindi yun physical. So, ang ibig sabihin, yung lolo nyo raw mabiit. Ang reasoning, kaya past tense yung ginagamit kapag hindi physical na body yung tinutukoy, kasi daw, dahil yung mga una yung tao, he can't continue being kind. Dahil daw pumanaw na, hindi niya napapagpatuloy yung pagiging mabait niya. Kaya, ang ginagamit ay, my grandpa was kind. Kapag uh, katangian na hindi physical. So, my point is, kapag narinig mo sa English native speaker na tinutukoy yung isang tao in uh, past tense, was kung singular, were kung plural, di ba? Ber- merong ang understanding nun, malamang yung tao, pumanaw na nga. Pero syempre, depende rin sa context, okay? Alam mo, may nagsabi sa'yo, she was my high school teacher. Ibig sabihin ba nun, patay na? P- hindi naman agad-agad, di ba? Pwede namang hindi na siya high school ngayon, kaya hindi niya na high school teacher. O kaya nga, hindi niya na teacher ngayon, di ba? Pero may possibility din na, yun nga, may possibility din na malamang nga pumanaw na. Pero nga, like what I said, depende sa context. Halimbawa naman, may nagsabi, um, he was my spouse, di ba? Pero syempre, hindi ka naman agad-agad uh, tatalon sa conclusion na, pumanaw na. Baka lang naghiwalay na. Kaya was my spouse na yung sinasabi, di ba? Baka lang hindi niya na asawa ngayon. Tsaka yung ipas na pang napansin ko dito, yun nga, pag tinutukoy naman nila, yung kahit yung pangalan lang nung yumao na. For example, my grandma's name was Berry. Yun nga, ang, ano nga, ang understanding nun, kapag gano'n ang pagkasabi, my grandma's name was Berry, na yung lola niyang si Berry, malamang nga, pumanaw na. Which is weird, di ba? Para sa ating mga Pilipino, ang, ang thinking natin, eh, eh kahit naman pumanaw na yung Betty pa rin naman pangalan niya, di ba? <laughs> eh wala eh, ganun sila magsalita eh. <laughs> Ngayon alam nyo na, kapag ba'y tinutukoy na tao ang English native speaker in past tense, malamang hindi na natin siya kapiling. So in future videos, pag-uusapan natin ng masalalim yung uh, tungkol sa tense o yung kung kailan naganap o nagaganap yung isang pangyayari. Pero in this video nga, ang focus lang muna natin ay yung verb to be na uh, past tense na was at saka were. Okay guys, hindi pa tayo tapos. Marami pa tayong pag-uusapan, okay? Pero, mag-short quiz muna tayo para ma-reinforce sa memory natin before we move on to the next subtopic. So, babasahin ko yung sentences in their present tense form. Gawin nyo lang silang past tense form by changing the verb to be into was or were. So, huwag nyo nang isulat. Sabihin nyo na lang sagot para ma-practice ang mga dila ninyo, okay? So, sabihin ko rin agad yung tamang sagot before we move on to the next one, okay? Number one. They are rowdy. They are rowdy. The answer is, they were rowdy. Number two, it is chaotic in there. It is chaotic in there. The answer is, it was chaotic in there. Number three, you are excited. You are excited. The answer, you were excited. Number four, He is awake. He is awake. The answer is, he was awake. Number five. We are lost. We are lost. The answer, we were lost. Number six. She is small. She is small. The answer is, she was small. Number seven. I am hungry. I am hungry. The answer is, I was hungry. Okay, this is the second part of the quiz. Yes, may second part ang ating quiz. So, babasahin ko yung sentences, pero blanco yung part na may was or were. Sasabihin nyo lang kung was or were ba dapat ang sabon. Okay? 
And then, yung part na may was or were, kasasabihin ko ay blank. Number one, the flowers blank will ting. The flowers blank will ting. The answer is, the flowers were wilting. Number two, the basket blank empty. The basket blank empty. The answer, the basket was empty. Number three, Tim and Sage blank classmates. Tim and Sage blank classmates. The answer, Tim and Sage were classmates. Number four, Katrina blank late. Katrina blank late. The answer, Katrina was late. Number five, it blank hidden in the box. It blank hidden in the box. The answer, it was hidden in the box. Number six, we blank told to wait. We blank told to wait. The answer, we were told to wait. Number seven, she blank given a gift. She blank given a gift. The answer, she was given a gift. Number eight, they blank rewarded for their hard work. They blank rewarded for their hard work. The answer, they were rewarded for their hard work. Number nine, I blank surprised. I blank surprised. The answer, I was surprised. Number 10, you blank funny back there. You blank funny back there. The answer, you were funny back there. And lastly, number 11, he blank young when they immigrated to the U.S. He blank young when they immigrated to the U.S. The answer, he was young when they immigrated to the U.S. Para naman gawing negative form or yung kabaligtaran, lalagyan mo lang ng word na not after nung was at saka nung were. So yung, um, yung was nagiging was not or kung gusto mong paiksain yung tinatawag na contraction, nagiging wasn't. Yung, uh, yung were nagiging were not or para gawin mo siyang contraction, nagiging weren't. Okay, for example, yung affirmative form or positive form na I was late yesterday, kapag negative na siya, nagiging I was not late yesterday or I wasn't late yesterday. Okay? Yung she was hungry this morning, nagiging she was not hungry this morning or she wasn't hungry this morning. Okay, and by the way guys, yung contracted form na lang yung sasabihin ko kasi sa, sa totoo lang, yung mga Amerikano, yun naman talaga lagi yung ginagamit. Yung, yung may contraction o yung pinaigse instead na was not. Actually, parang hindi ko nga narinig na may gumagamit ng was not, right? Ang sasabihin lang lagi niyan wasn't, okay? So, Yung he was downstairs when I came in, nagiging he wasn't downstairs when I came in, okay? Yung it was on the table earlier, nagiging it wasn't on the table earlier. Yung you were at the playground, nagiging you weren't at the playground. Yung we were tired last night, nagiging we weren't tired last night. Yung they were at the party last week, nagiging they weren't at the party last week. And by the way, I point out ko lang, okay? Marami sa atin nagsasabi ng weren't. Hindi siya weren't. Weren't. Para siyang were, lalagyan mo lang ng NT. Weren't. Mag-quiz ulit tayo before we move on to the next subtopic para ma-practice kayo, okay? So, babasahin ko ng dalawang beses itong mga sentences in their affirmative form. Gagawin niyo lang silang negative form. Gagawin niyo lang silang? <laughs> I'm sorry. Gagawin niyo lang silang negative form. Okay. Ang tatanggapin nating sagot ay yung may contraction gaya ng wasn't or weren't. Kasi mas madalas gamitin niya ng mga native speakers kesa dun sa kompleto. Okay. Number one. They were happy with the results. They were happy with the results. The answer, they weren't happy with the results. Number two. I was joking. I was joking. The answer, I wasn't joking. Number three, he was late for school. He was late for school. The answer, he wasn't late for school. 
Number four. You were there last night. You were there last night. The answer. You weren't there last night. Number five. It was the right size. It was the right size. The answer. It wasn't the right size. Number six. We were at the beach yesterday. We were at the beach yesterday. The answer, we weren't at the beach yesterday. Number seven, she was funny. She was funny. The answer, she wasn't funny. Lastly, para gumawa ng yes or no questions, gamit yung was or were, simply lang, magpapalitin mo lang ng pwesto yung subject at saka yung verb to be. For example, uh, yung I was, nagiging was I kapag question. For example, I was fast kapag patanong, was I fast? Yung we were, nagiging were we. For example, we were in high school together kapag patanong naman, were we in high school together? Yung you were, nagiging were you. For example, you were daydreaming. Nagiging, kapag patanong, nagiging were you daydreaming? Yun namang uh, she was, nagiging was she. For example, she was here last night. Kapag patanong, nagiging was she here last night? Yung he was, nagiging was he. Like uh, he was asleep on the couch. Nagiging was he asleep on the couch? Yung it was, nagiging was it. For example, it was funny kapag patanong, was it funny? Yung Nori was or nagiging was Nori. For example, Nori was at the library yesterday. Nagiging was Nori at the library yesterday. Yung they were, nagiging were they? So, for example, they were at the football game last night. Nagiging were they at the football game last night? Okay, so ituturo ko na rin sa inyo paano sumagot, okay? For example, may nagtanong sa inyo, was I fast? So, kung gusto nyo sumagot ng kompleto na uh, kung ang sagot nyo ay yes, for example, yes, you were fast. O kaya, meron tayong tawag na elliptical phrase o yung pinaigse, hindi mo na kailangan sabihin lahat ng sagot. So, was I fast? Pwede kang sumagot ng yes, you were. O kung no naman ang sagot, was I fast? Pwede mo sabihin, no, you weren't fast. O kaya, kung pinaigse, no, you weren't. Halimbawa naman ang tanong nga, Were we in high school together? Merong isang taong nalilito. Were we in high school together? Diba? Pwede mong sagot, Yes, we were in high school together. O kaya, maigse, Yes, we were. Kung sagot naman, No, we weren't in high school together. Iba yung naalala mo, ate ko yun. Parang ganon, diba? O kaya, pinaigse, No, we weren't. May nagtanong, Were you daydreaming? Pwedeng, yes, I was daydreaming. O kaya, yes, I was. O kaya naman, kung no, were you daydreaming? No, I, I wasn't daydreaming. O kaya, no, I wasn't. Tanong, was she here last night? Pwede mo sagutin ng yes. Yes, she was here last night. O kaya, yes, she was. O kaya, was she here last night? No, she wasn't here last night. O kaya, no, she wasn't. And then, tanong, was he asleep on the couch? Pwede mong sumagot ng yes, he was asleep on the couch. O kaya, yes, he was. Kung elliptical phrase. O kaya, kung no ang sagot, no, he wasn't asleep on the couch. O kaya, no, he wasn't. About may nag-joke, tapos gusto kang tanangin, was it funny? Pwede ka sumagot, yes, it was funny. O kaya, yes, it was. O kaya, kung no naman, corny, was it funny? No, it wasn't funny. O kaya, no, it wasn't. And was Nori at the library yesterday? Pwede yes, Nori was at the library yesterday kung gusto mong sabihin lahat. O kaya kung pahihiksay mo, was Nori at the library yesterday? Yes, she was. Kung no naman ang sagot, no, she wasn't at the library yesterday. O kaya naman, pinihiksay, no, she wasn't. Uh, if you notice, yung Nori, pinalitan ko ng pronoun na she. Kasi usually naman, hindi mo na laging sasabihin yung pangalan, di ba? Mga native speakers, pinaiiksi nila into contracted form, tapos papalitan na na ng pronoun, yung mga pangalan, para hindi pa ulit-ulit, di ba? And then lastly, were they at the football game last night? Pwede mo sagot, yes, they were at the football game last night. O kaya naman, yes, they were. Kung no ang sagot, were they at the football game last night? No, they weren't at the football game last night. O kaya, no, they weren't. 
Okay guys, last question na to. Ito yung pandiin natin before I let you go. Okay? Bibigyan ko kayo ng sentence in affirmative form tapos gagawin nyo lang tanong yung sentence. Pabasahin ko ng dalawang beses then sabihin nyo na lang yung sagot huwag nyo nang isulat para mag-practice ang mga dila ninyo. Okay? Number one. They were in a hurry. They were in a hurry. Ang sagot. Were they in a hurry? Number two. I was too loud. I was too loud. The answer, was I too loud? Number three, the weather was nice yesterday. The weather was nice yesterday. Answer, was the weather nice yesterday? Number four, Bruce was a national judo champion. Bruce was a national judo champion. Answer, was Bruce a national judo champion? Number five, it was your idea. It was your idea. Answer, was it your idea? Number six, she was the general manager. She was the general manager. Answer, was she the general manager? Number seven, you were at the wedding. You were at the wedding. Answer, were you at the wedding? Kung gusto niyo ng copy ng chart, paki-screenshot na lang. Okay, this is lesson number 5. Yung lessons 1 to 4 ba na panood niyo na? Kung hindi nyo pa napanood, plus panoorin nyo na para wala kayong mamiss. So, yung lessons 1 to 4, tungkol yon sa present tense na verb to be na am, is, are. So, itong video na to, karugtong siya ng video na yon. So, kung hindi nyo pa yung napanood, nilagay ko na yung, yung link sa description box para hindi na kayo mahirapang hanapin para mapanood nyo rin sila. Huwag kayong mahihiyang mag-English dahil ang nahihiya kayong magkamali. Yung asawa ko nga, Amerikano, mali-mali mag-English eh. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, no, correct. Anyway, uh, paminsan-minsan lang naman. Okay? At sana rin, kapag may naririnig kayo na nag english ng mali-mali, huwag niyo namang isi-shame or huwag niyong hihiyain. Okay? Kasi ano na hanin niyo na yung English ay second language lang natin. So, natural lang na hindi tayo kagaling, ganun kagaling. Diba? Buti nga, meron tayong second language. Eh. Buti nga, marunong tayo kahit hindi naman natin ito first language. Lalahanin nyo, yung mga ibang English native speakers, walang alam na ibang language, mali ba sa English. <laughs> so, kung pa-English ka na pamali-mali, okay lang yun. Na, ma, actually, dito sa US, mas ano eh, mas forgiving yung mga native speakers. Hindi nila eh talaga ina-expect na ganun kakagaling. Sila na yung nag adjust So, sana ganun din kayo. Huwag kayong masyadong ano. <laughs> Pero, kung panonoorin nyo lahat ng videos ko, Tiyak ko na mag improve ang English ninyo. Ang ginagawa ko, nilagyan ko na ng uh, number yung mga lessons para sana mapanood nyo ng sunod-sunod. O kaya naman, kahit hindi sunod-sunod, para alam nyo lang kung ano yung lessons na hindi nyo pa napanood. Like, okay, list lesson number 5 to. Ano ba yung lessons na hindi ko pa napanood? So, para mapanood nyo lahat. Paminsan-minsan, gumagawa rin ako ng mga videos na hindi siya grammar lessons. Kung hindi, gusto ko lang magkwento ng buhay-buhay rito sa Amerika. Pero kapag ganun, hindi ko na nilalagay ng number para hindi makagulo sa lessons natin. Pero sana kahit yung mga kwento, panoorin nyo pa rin. Okay? Pa kasi para, alam yun, para umabot ng Amerika ang pagkamarites nyo. Tandaan. Okay lang na mali-mali mag-English, pero sana, mag-English lang din kayo, kalingan nyo na!